Well, hello, man caves, and what are we doing today? Well, we're not going to do a Villiers engine video today. We're going to do a tidy up video because the new man cave shed is starting to get full. So we're going to have a swap around. Right, let's get on with this and roll the credits. we go. Aha. Switch around time. Well, we are back, man cavers. Look, 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 look. My floor space, apart from a toolbox and a petrol can, is empty. Even under the bench, the BSAs have gone to Royden. We will be back to that BSA, what we had there, the one we all cleaned up. We will get back to it. But you know, we're doing the Villiers. Here's the tin work, which we've got to paint. And if we come outdoors, we've got to do the atom. Here's the atom. But what have we brought back to fill up this void I've cleared? Right. Let's have a walk round. We'll have a walk round to the trailer. And then you can see what we've brought back. Now, a lot of you will like this Marcus especially. This channel's namesake. Ta-da! -ta we have brought back the Lister B Hopper Cool. If you're wondering, oh, where's your exhaust and where's your mag? Well, they're all in the back of the car in a tray. Because if you remember, I think I was last year, we stripped this out. Stripped all the bits off it. Cleaned the mag, cleaned the carb, cleaned the exhaust. They're all ready to go back on. But do you remember? I said I wanted to strip all the old paint off this because it's it's been painted badly. Do you see what I mean? It's it's not good. The, that paint is on there so, so thick. That needs to come off of the wire wheel, a bare metal. And then we'll give that a nice coat of mid-Brunswick. But there... Oh, how am I going to get this? This took some getting on the trailer, I'll be honest. So much so, that my wheels on my little trolley, because they're small wheels, look, you see these little wheels? Little wheels. Well, they have actually punched a hole through the floor of the trailer, both sides, causing it to go on the tip. Ah, oh, this has got to be a nightmare. Anyhow, we need to get this off here. Somehow... And round into the man cave. All right, we'll be back, hopefully, when that's done. Bye-bye for now. All right, so here we are. The Lister B is back in the shed. So there's a little bit cramped. I mean, we've got a little bit of room left in here. But she's bigger than I remember. Yes, she's, um, I thought that might snug underneath the bench. But the head comes up to about here. So, yeah, this is quite a tall thing. I don't help that that's on that set of skids. If it weren't on this trolley, that would slide on them skids whoosh, underneath there. But I need it on that trolley because that's on wheels and we can move it about. Well, there you go. So our list of B is back in the workshop. So at our leisure, over the cold months, because this has been sitting in grass down Man Cave, with grass up to here. And I didn't like saying, oh, it's going to get spoiled. Our box of bits is down there. I don't mean the doorbell. I mean the other bits and pieces, like our magneto was there. Look, right there. The carburetor is right there. All the bits we need. You know what? I didn't bring the damn fuel tank back. Oh, well, I can get that next time I go. So, yes, anyhow, we're all these bits for this engine. So, over the winter, alongside doing the atom... We can take them brass plates off there, strip this all back to bare metal somehow, probably with a grinder and a whiz wheel. We are not going to remove the flywheels. No, sorry. I never understand people that do remove flywheels when there's no need to because 
are a pain to get on, pain to get off. You risk breaking the pins, you risk not lining them up right and that. But, oh, it's a nightmare. Why people take flywheels off, I do not know. We can restore this perfectly good with them on. Anyhow, good enough for the girls we date. Because you know me, I don't like things 2K sprayed and pressed. I just like them really nice. So we'll get a really nice coat of green on this. Some Lister Junior water slide decals on the side of the hopper. Or on the front. But there we go. There's our Lister B. All ready to, well, start the restoration. Right, I'm going to go. We aren't giving up. We're still doing this. The next video you'll probably see is this tin work going back on this engine. Because I am going to rub these down and get these painted. Then we can get them back on the engine. And then temporarily bolt the engine on the atom. Just so it holds. And then we can actually fire this thing. So yes, that will do nicely. Right, that's going to be it. Very short video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. But I'm sure most of you have. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Ha-ha! <laughs>